Hello everyone and welcome to lunchtime on this kind of cloudy but still nice day. And I'm having spaghetti. There you are. There's a nice a nice close up of it. With a big smile. You think that's gonna be a thumbnail? What do you think? So this is actually Ron's Ronzoni Healthy Harvest Whole Grain Spaghetti. I wonder if I should do this. Maybe I could start doing that in the future. A picture of the plate and the, and the product. I'm not going to talk too much right now. I'm going to, because I don't like cold spaghetti. Everyone who likes cold spaghetti, raise your hand. Hmm. Just as I figured, nobody. If you hear like a little hum, that's the refrigerator. In the past, I would turn the refrigerator off. But I was always afraid of forgetting to turn it back on again and having all the food spoil. And one time I did forget to turn it on for a turn it back on for a couple of hours. But nothing was, there was no harm done. I put the little uh, meatball here in the, in the sauce right there in the middle of the spaghetti. Why did I do that? Just because it looks different rather than put the spaghetti there and just throw everything on top of it. But that's okay if somebody wants to do that. And that's how I always eat spaghetti anyway. I could try to, I shouldn't have cut the stuff up, I should have tried it like, you know, like this, like some people eat it, without being cut up, but it just seems so, it's kind of disgusting looking to see people put a bunch of spaghetti in their mouth and it's kind of hanging down like, no. Mm. I forgot my special napkin. Also, in case I in case I drop some spaghetti and we're in kind of a spaghetti colored shirt so it won't show as badly. Let's put some Parmesan cheese on it. Just a little bit. I mean, cheese is the dairy product, but I've I've read that it's some of the most uh, one of the most harmful foods. I don't know, but you put a little bit here anyway. Move it all around there, and then red pepper. Was it upside down? Maybe so. Don't know. So, my dad loved this red pepper. He was not a very healthy eater. Red peppers are not bad for you. Unless you have too much of it. Enough talk. That pepper's already having effect. If I could put time in a bottle. It's time in a bottle. Jim Croce. The late Jim Croce. I had that song in my mind today.
And now for the meatball. Hmm. It's a very, very good of my spaghetti. Very, very good. You call it a ronzoni, healthy harvest, whole grain. Pardon my phony Italian accent. So far, I have not needed this shirt, but the meal is still early. Yes, so the spaghetti, the very, very good, is my most favorite spaghetti. Oh, forget it. Please, a no-hate meal from my bad Italian accent. It's just very di difficult eat spaghetti in a dignified manner, but I guess it can be done. And it's very, very good. Maybe someday we'll share a meal together. Just a little bit left. I really enjoyed this little meal. Down to the last little meat now. <coughs> mm, the peppers.
It was a very, very good. This is a whole grain, which is, of course, the, the healthier grain. They help me the healthier kind of spaghetti. Don't worry, it's a scammer. Ignore it. So, um, you maybe want to pick this up and try it. And tell them that Trip sent you, okay? It's really easy to fix, you know, about spaghetti. It's about the simplest thing to fix. So you boil it. You put in some salt if you want to with the water. Anyway, the directions are there. I won't waste time telling you about it. So, have fun and have a good life until I see you next time. Peace out.